What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you a brand new video and what we're going to be talking about today is Town Hall 10 and the variety of attacks we are now seeing at Town Hall 10. As you go ahead and pull up the friendly warlog here. We did have an arranged war uh, this weekend against Mar Mariana Trench. Thank you, Shrek. Uh, where we did get the victory, 111 to 109. The, uh, Mariana Trench is a very tough clan, an invite clan nevertheless. Uh, it was a very fun war, and I'm glad they were able to arrange with us on pretty much a pretty short notice. Uh, but it was a very fun war. Uh, breakdown being 5, 15, rest filled up with Town Hall 9s. It was a 40 v 40. Uh, what we're going to be talking about today is the variety that we're seeing at Town Hall 10. Uh, before, as a lot of you know, all you have to do is watch some of the recaps on this channel or recaps on some of your other favorite YouTubers' uh, channels, and you'll see pretty much the only attacks we were seeing, guys, were air attacks, and more specifically, a balloon-based attack, whether that be Sui Hero Lalo, uh, you know, some form of a small kill squad, into a Lalo. Uh, pretty much everything was using some form of hounds and balloons. But that's not what we're seeing. And believe it or not, as we go right here in the upper right hand corner of your screen, I was finally able to make uh, make an attack and appear on one of my own recaps on my own channel. So it's pretty cool. Uh, it's been a while, but I was finally able to get a 10v10 and using bitch nonetheless. Uh, starting here over at 3 o'clock did set up that funnel right there with that one bowler. I was able to take out both of those elixir pumps. Four witches and four bowlers down here at six as they're going to take out the mortar. And right here, uh, just going to be doing a naked queen walk. Have two witches and four more bowlers over at three o'clock trying to get some value out of her. And as you can see, I can get a pretty nice funnel right here as long as the cannon and the archer tower go down. And this little inlet right here, gall second golem on the mortar uh, just outside the wall goes down pretty quick to that witch. And here comes the rest of the bowlers jump. And you can see with, with that Inferno Tower down there, bowlers can reach and or the king can reach that Inferno Tower. Uh, so didn't have to send the queen in. She was able to get some defenses taken out over there on the right hand side, on the upper right hand side. Uh, another jump leading into the second Inferno Tower and the other basically all the other defenses on the back end of the base uh both rage down heal right there in the core uh still have king ability up and things are slowly starting to peed out but if you look right here there's a whole wad of bowlers getting tanked by that golem i don't even know how but a few witches even ended up uh inside the core there so they're able to take out the pups as they did take out that enemy hound as it popped right there and there's really only a few defenses left, guys. Uh, Archer up at 12 o'clock, but you are going to see the witches going to be rounding clockwise, where they're going to be taking out all that trash up there. And again, still have BK ability. Uh, the only defense left is that Archer Tower right above the town hall. So again, was able to get this three-star using bitch. Uh, it was a lot of fun. There was a bunch of us on voice. Felt really, really good. Uh, 10v10s for me are few and far between. I am still learning Town Hall 10. Uh, but felt really, really good to get this attack knocked out. And in an arranged door, you know, which, which you know, meant something. So it was really special. And there you have it right there. Got the 10v10 using bitch. No balloons, guys. All right, let's go ahead. And we're going to drop or excuse me, jump up one, we're going to see Hulk's attack on 19. One thing that I do want to uh, point out, this was a fresh hit, was not even scouted. Also makes me wonder if and when uh, the Town Hall 10 CCs are going to change. For the most part, we can assume basically 10 times out of 10 that uh, Town Hall 10 enemy CC is going to have a loon, uh, whether it's a uh, hound loon or whether it's a hound archer or the hound whiz archer basically hound something which makes something like a minor attack very susceptible not to mention uh, how exposed these inferno towers are there's not a lot of high hp buildings surrounding them and again with that cc knowing that it's a hound uh making it very susceptible to mass miners so hulk came in uh, took the risk when it didn't even get a scout just went in fresh and was able to get it done as you see he basically just had his heroes uh, over there at about three o'clock or three thirty um, 
where he was able to take out the enemy king and the enemy queen and a few defenses for his miners. I believe he brought 30, yeah, 30 something plus miners, uh, went ahead and brought five heals and two poisons. And what's interesting about this, again, why I mentioned if and when CCs are going to change, you guys are about to see that the enemy loon doesn't even go down through this entire attack, guys. And also keep in mind, loons changed. If you guys hadn't heard, loons take there's a hesitation, similar to the miners, before they drop underground. There's now a hesitation with the loon as they redirect to a different target. So if a loon is targeted on a miner and that miner dies, it takes them that much longer to redirect onto the next one. And that loon is just bouncing around, not doing a whole lot. And he still has a whole lot of miners left. Uh, does still have that inferno tower. Uh, left up and the only other defense remaining is that Tesla uh, right there between those two uh, DE drills and again as you see it that loon is just flying around but he is able to take this base out again doing it fresh so good job to Hulk bringing so he brought 44 miners and seven miners in the CC and a couple wizards and archers just to funnel down there at six o'clock um, keeping the, all those miners inside the base. And again, not using any loons. We're going to jump up one more right here. We did have three 10v10s this war. Uh, so this is the third and final 10v10 that we will be showing. And we have Gooves. Uh, this is him on his Vietnamese alter ego. And as you see it down there on the screen, not bringing a single loon uh, or lava hound for that matter. Uh, bringing 24 hogs, 4 Valkyries, and a Golem, as this is going to be a CB entry that he's going to be making. Uh, did have a baby drag on that barracks. Took out the lab to set up a nice funnel, uh, basically to suey his queen here on that Inferno Tower. As you see, the Golem and King just doing a, a little Kiwi walk right here. Uh, taking out that trash. And that Golem is going to be beating on the wall, leading to that Archer Tower. Does have four valkyries and four wall breakers to make sure he gets that wall broken and he's getting good value from this compartment three cannons two giant bombs an expo uh did get the cc pull notice that the queen did take out the inferno tower over there at nine o'clock and just like that with no hesitation goes ahead and floods this base with those 24 hogs also had seven hogs coming out of the cc uh did drop a poison where as there were ground skellies by that inferno tower and with that freeze he also caught the tesla as well so got good value there and does have one more more heal spell as he did save it for that bomb tower uh wizard tower archer down there at about six o'clock and already has cleanup up there on the upper right hand side where he does have minions uh working on cleanup already and just has a whole wad of hogs of member hogs did receive an hp buff uh, levels, I believe it was levels uh, 6 and 7 did have an HP increase and he is definitely taking advantage of it and we we did try to hit this base a few times uh, with Lala with absolutely no success. Uh, we did do one hog attack, this was the second hog attack. Just made a couple adjustments and was able to get it done. Gooves getting the 3 star using hogs. So as you guys see it right there, our 3 10v10s came in all different shapes and sizes. Uh, one of them using bitch, which was mine. Uh, we had Hulk using the mass miners with the five heal spells and we had Gooves who came in on his Vietnamese alter ego doing it with a CB uh, hog raid, uh, basically mass hogs. So very, very good value uh, that you got from that. Didn't even bring bowlers, guys. So again... All the variety that we're seeing at Town Hall 10, uh, very, very good. And Mariana Trench, they did have uh, four 10v10s, and a couple of those were with Lalo. Um, so again, the variety, guys, it's so good for the game. I'm very glad this update has happened. A lot of guys are, are much more confident and just feel a lot better at Town Hall 10 now uh, with the recent buffs. Uh, that you know that we got in the last update so just want to show you guys a few different attacks again three 10 v 10s this war and all three of them using different attacks and we did get the victory 111 to 109 over mariana trench uh best of luck to them in the future very very good clan very tough clan coming from the war wills family 
At any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for all your guys' love and support. This channel is just blowing up, and it, it's really incredible. So thank I thank each and every one of you. And as always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.